Hi there, I'm Dr. Ashwini. I'm the scientific director of Aspire Fertility Center, HSR Layout, Bangalore. And today, this video is to address the common queries on these disorders. Thyroid gland is a butterfly-shaped gland which is situated in front of the neck at the base of the neck. This gland secretes hormones called as thyroid hormones and these hormones are very important for the normal functioning of the, not only the reproductive organs but every cell of the body. Thyroid disorders can be of several varieties or several types. Some of the common disorders that affect the thyroid gland are its overfunction, which is called as hyperthyroidism, its underfunction which is called as hypothyroidism and the other disorders that can affect the thyroid gland are tumors. Causes of thyroid disorders can be diverse. One of the commonest cause of thyroid disorders is iodine deficiency, which leads to underfunctioning of the thyroid gland. So it's very really essential for women and men to make sure that they take adequate supplies of iodine every day in their diet. The other causes of thyroid disorders are autoimmune disorders. Autoimmune disorders are disorders wherein one's own immunity attacks their own cells either to cause a hypofunction, that is underfunction, or hyperfunction, which is overfunction of the gland. Radiation exposure, especially people who are as an occupational hazard get exposed to X-rays more frequently are more prone for thyroid disorders. Similarly, tumors of the thyroid gland can affect its function and lead to thyroid problems. Thyroid disorders can lead to changes in an appetite. It can cause a person to have lack of appetite. It can also lead to sleep disorders. Hypothyroidism especially causes more sleep and hyperthyroidism causes lack of sleep. It leads to weakness. Sometimes it also leads to fatigability, easy fatigability. That is a person feeling more tired or tired all the time. It can lead to changes in the skin, especially dryness, loss of hair, eczema, etc. It can sometimes lead to mental disorders, especially depression. Thyroid disorders also lead to abnormalities in menstruation, leading to either late menses or very early menses. It can lead to lack of ovulation and very rarely when it happens in pregnancy, it can lead to miscarriage. So thyroid, normal thyroid function is extremely important for normal reproduction. Treatment of thyroid dysfunction depends on what's the cause. Now suppose if it's hypothyroidism, that is if the problems are created due to underfunctioning of the thyroid gland and supplement of thyroid hormone is the treatment. So this is given in the form of tablets and it may have to be taken routinely, regularly on a daily basis to make sure that adequate thyroid hormones are there in the body. Whereas overfunction of thyroid gland, that is hyperfunction, you, need, you may need antithyroid medications and this is best taken in uh, consultation with the endocrinologist. It causes uh, anovulation, it causes uh, menstrual dysfunction. So as a result of this, if the, uh, if the normal ovulation and normal spermatogenesis doesn't happen properly, it indirectly leads to infertility and uh, reproduction related uh, problems, especially even during pregnancy. Have signs and symptoms or even when you don't have symptoms, it's important that at least once in a while, people do check their thyroid test to ascertain that they are normal or even it can manifest in the mildest way in the form of irregular menstruation or infertility. So it's important that if somebody is suffering from fertility issues to check their thyroid function and make sure it's normal.